jungle. New York is testimony in the trial of Nexium founder Keith Ranier concluded Friday. Jurors watched a video of the leader of the cult like group discussing his views on child sex abuse. Before resting their case after nearly six weeks of testimony, prosecutors played a video of Ranier, 58, talking about how the age of sexual consent differs in various countries and states. Most people scream abuse, and a lot of times the screaming of abuse is abuse in itself, Ranier said, facing the camera as he sat at a kitchen table. Some little children are perfectly happy with it, prosecutors did not say when the video was shot. Ranier is facing charges including racketeering, racketeering conspiracy, human trafficking, sex trafficking and sexual exploitation of a child. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges. If convicted, he faces life in prison. Prosecutors have accused Ranier of having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old girl. Earlier this week, they showed jurors graphic photos of the teen that were found on a computer believed to be his. Ranier's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, contested the time stamping of the photos, saying it could be unreliable and easy to alter. But prosecutors pointed to testimony that the girl had a noticeable scar on her lower right abdomen from an appendectomy she had when she was 16. FBI case agent Michael Weniger, who investigated the case for nearly two years, testified the girl did not have that scar in the graphic photos presented in court. After prosecutors rested their case against Ranier on Friday, Agnifilo told U.S. District Judge Nicholas Garofis that he was not going to present a case in court. Ranier chose not to testify. Prosecutors and defense attorneys are expected to make their closing statements Monday morning. The jury, made up of eight men and four women, with four alternates, is expected to begin deliberations by Tuesday. Lesson plans on rape and abuse witnesses discussed throughout the trial how Ranier's thoughts would be downloaded or transcribed and turned into lesson plans for Nexium's self-help courses, which claim to help people achieve success. Before the start of the trial, Agnifilo told CNN his client firmly believes that his ideas are sound ideas, are good ideas, are humanitarian ideas. Weniger said in court that investigators found Nexium course lesson plans that Ranier forwarded between two of his own email accounts. Some of the lesson plans were for a course aimed at women with a section on rape. Do you know there's a certain percentage of women who have an orgasm when they get raped? Even if they don't want it, the lesson plan reads. Another section is entitled, Rape as a Metaphor for Orgasm, and claims, there is the tension ultimately of being overcome, the release, and it is a sexual experience. Former Nexium members have testified about their interactions with Ranier, ranging from being held in isolation for years to being tied down and having sexual acts performed on them. Several women said they were recruited to be part of what they were told was a women's empowerment group within Nexium. They were told to give damaging personal information about themselves, nude photos or other types of collateral, before they could hear more about the group, known as DOS. Several testified that they had no idea that, once a member of the group, they would become slaves to masters in a chain that ended with Ranier as the head of the group, or Grand Master. One woman, identified only as Nicole, in court, testified that she was told to write a letter to a local news outlet falsely accusing her father of sexual assault. There were so many things that were added on later once you were, like, sealed into this situation, she testified. She said she was later tasked with meeting up with Ranier, who blindfolded her and tied her wrists and ankles to corners of a table, and then had another dose slave perform oral sex on her. Ranier was originally charged with five other co-defendants, all high-ranking women formerly from Nexium who have pleaded guilty in the case. Former Smallville actress Allison Mack pleaded guilty to racketeering and racketeering conspiracy charges. Lauren Salzman also pleaded guilty to racketeering and racketeering conspiracy charges. Seagram's liquor heiress Claire Braunefman pleaded guilty to conspiracy to conceal and harbor illegal aliens for financial gain and fraudulent use of identification. Nexium bookkeeper Kathy Russell pleaded guilty to one count of visa fraud, and Nexium CEO Nancy Salzman pleaded guilty to one count of racketeering conspiracy. Thanks for listening to Bit News. Subscribe for more content. Audio Jungle.